um, like I said, a lot of the uh, USB mics come with the software. It's the same software, it's just scaled down the scope of what it can do. It doesn't have all the crazy plugins. It may not be able to record you know, 20 channels at the same time, but it's otherwise the same software. Um, so we have uh, maybe two more questions. Uh, two more questions. Okay. She's really insistent in the back with the purple sleeves. <laughs> Build or create a home studio. What kind of equipment would you best suggest, in terms, especially in terms of microphones? Um, or, yeah. or like Neither one of us are engineers. There, uh, there are many types, and I think uh, I I will recommend. I don't know what standard here, but with US, uh, maybe hundred dollars or higher. If any cheaper, start to get a little bit, you know. Sound. And also, it's important to have your room uh, sound proof. That's most important than actually having I mean, microphones important too, but that's just as important mm -hmm. because we don't want to be hearing your mother talking in the background or cars going by or phones ringing. So make sure, yeah, uh, there's no hands or anything like that when you record. There are many types, and I think uh, I. I will recommend, I don't know what standard here, but with US, uh, maybe $100 or higher. If any cheaper, start to get a little bit, you know, sound. And also, it's important to have your room uh, sound proof. That's most important than actually having, I mean, microphones important too, but that's just as important mm -hmm. because we don't want to be hearing your mother talking in the background or cars going by or phones ringing. The so make sure, yeah, uh, there's no hands or anything like that when you record. Because, um, yeah, again, those, those USB mics, I think Snowball is a brand that a lot of people use. Um, the Snowball Blue, maybe. Um, but, yeah, soundproofing, they have little portable things you can set up that just clip right onto the mic stand. They're probably a couple hundred dollars just by themselves. And then they even go so far as to make like isolation booths that you can just set up within your room. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of options. This is why you get as an actor. So it's up to you to come up with this character. And just so that you can see it and you can practice it for your own, I'm happy to give this out at the end. But try not to maybe post it. Online. Yeah. <laughs> you can do your voice online, but maybe not this itself yeah. if you can not pass it online. That would be great. Um, but to continue answering your question, so that's what we use for the audition process. When we actually get the, the actor in the booth, sometimes we'll have like a wireframe animation, which is very scaled down, very simplistic movement of the character, because they'll have like uh, a throwing efforts, and they want it to match the timing of the animation that they're putting on. Um, so because they have to do so much of the work at the same time, they need to be able to get those things matched up. So, um, yeah, for League of Legends, uh, a lot of time, by the time we audition and then the character come out, the name might be different, the design might be a little bit different. So. I think they, as they are creating this character, including voice, they still go through different process. Okay. Part dog, part lady, part fish. Uh-oh. Must be Scala, the sea monster. Uh, you got more than that? Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, ancient sea Greeks. Something about ships sailing too close to her, um, losing their men to the sea, or something like that. <laughs> oh, sure. That old story. <laughs> Sweetie, don't believe the hype. Every shit that seems to be my fault. I don't know, but it's myth. Okay, sure. I believe you. When the ancient Greeks created me, Going out on a boat was scary. <laughs> Just want to say, still pretty scared. <laughs> May went to sea and didn't come back. The people left behind needed to understand what happened. Oh, right. So they created you to explain why the ships went down. Right. Miss 
Legends are, they tell stories. <laughs> so, I suppose you never brought a ship down here? <laughs> Not in the real world. The monsters don't exist there. But in Autopia, it's my job. Yeah. That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> Nina, a little less chit chat and a little more throwing clean. <laughs> ah, don't worry. I specialize in ancient Greeks. Besides, <laughs> you I like. <laughs> that people are writing for animation, they do not include enough stage directions. All we ever do is write the um, dialogue. Think like a camera. Uh, so he's scaling the wall of the castle, jumping lightly from the head of one gargoyle to another, and as he does, the last two gargoyles come to life, growling at him, and then we see where Streak gets his name, he becomes a blur, streaking up the side of the castle, faster than the eye can see. He grabs a little out of the way, just as the gargoyles lunge for him, smashing into each other instead. Ow! <laughs> what is that big idea? Whoops, too slow. Oh, hello. <laughs> We're in over. That's a big idea. French guard mode. I need to start that sort of thing. Where's, where's the ghost goose? That's why. Where's the ghost goose? Let's go again. And they lunge, the two gargoyles lunge for a little and they smash into each other instead. Oh, whoops, too slow. Ow! What's the big idea? I uh, just wondering if you saw a monster come through here this morning. Orange, tough. Polka dots? Ah, oui! But when I got a load of this big horn on my head, he ran away crying, wah, wah, to mommy! <laughs> Pierre, do you think he was scared to win? He ran because he could... because he got a good look see of my big teeth and eyes. I can't do a war. Be fearless! <laughs> That's when he said adios, amigos. And where are you from? I mean, I thought gargoyles were French. The good ones are. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, for the French artists, French artists want the only ones to create monsters, protect their buildings. Me, I am an Aztec servant, proud from Mexico. That guy over there, mm, he's a tight dragon. Is he delicious? Yes, we're from all over. But it's exaggerated pictures my artist gave me that scares the monster away. Check out the size of my French horns. <laughs> so even when you're feeling this out and playing with each other, you're giving that beat in between so they can bring one mic up and the other one down and so you can edit and all of that stuff. If all of a sudden none of that would have come through anyway because somebody would have switched off your mic the minute that you finished your line. They've got a set of cues. The engineer's got a set of cues, right? He knows exactly what somebody's going to say. Streak's done his stuff, Mike gone. Up with the other one. So that you have no overlap. Because why do you not want overlap? <coughs> and what? Editing. Right? So you never, you never overlap. So that's the reason why that, that wouldn't have worked at all. If you wanted to do it in an audition, somebody might have said, hey, cool, we like the way the dude's uh, head works. He's obvi he obviously understands this character, so he's had living. And once you get in that studio, it is each and every cue as is. All right? Cool. Nice job. Hurry up! He's already across the lake! Wow, he's really, really big. And getting away! Um... Guys, just a sec, little. What about saving the king's crown? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know. Who's to say anyone who's going to even notice if he, the crown's missing from his stand, his glass stand anyway? Streak, I'm an artist. I can tell you everything in a piece of artwork matters. Guys! Not now, little. Okay. You're not seriously suggesting that we quit, are you? What? No, no, I, I was just kidding. Quit. I, I, what did you like it? I mean, I was uh, 
scared and heroes don't get scared, right? That's all. Hi, doggy. Uh, I mean, lady. Whoa, I, I mean, fishy. Okay, so, do we have a better idea of what's going on here now? They're in a boat, right? Yes. You see this big thing that's part dog, part woman, part fish. And you're sort of going, oh, hello. Hi, 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 there's a, there's a, there's a, and everybody's going, it's okay. No, but there, there's a, hi, hi, there's, there's a, hi, 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 Okay? Okay. All right. Uh, let's do this one more time. And that last one, all your other ones have been to them to get their attention. Slow down. <laughs> Slow down. Yeah. Okay. That's one of the things that you have to learn how to do is to cold read. And I don't know how many there are actors who actually don't do well at auditions. And they don't do well at auditions because they're slightly dyslexic. Seriously. Because once you get them in a rehearsal situation, they're fine. Once they can learn their stuff and find their characters. But unfortunately in this business, sometimes you've got to have it like that. And you've got to take it off, off the page, the words off the page and make them live. Okay. Go get. Him. Hurry up! He's already across the lake. Wow, he's really, really big. And getting away. Um, guys, just a sec, little. What about saving the king's crown? Guys. Uh, okay. Guys. Uh, not now, little. Who's to say it will be? Who's to say anyone will even notice if the crown's missing from his stained glass window? Streak, I'm an artist. I can tell you everything in a piece of artwork matters. Guys! Not now, little! Okay. You're not seriously suggesting that we quit, are you? What? No, I was kidding. Quitting wouldn't, quitting wouldn't be like I mean, I was scared. And heroes don't get scared, right? Hi, doggy. Um, I mean, lady. Whoa.